What's up? This is Psyche of Sound, and this is Words from the Psyche. Today I'll be discussing um, basically uh, songwriting, but more so um, of how um, there's a standard in hip hop where you're so kind of supposed to write your own lyrics. And that standard doesn't seem to carry across on other um, genres like rock and roll or pop or R&B. And why not? I mean, um, I know a lot of people don't write their, um, their raps, and that's cool, that's fine. Um, I think because there's a you know there's a street element to it there's a respect element to it and hip hop has a different level of um, of culture and, and things that that attach to it but for some reason I don't know if it's just when you're successful or what that conversation somehow comes up maybe it's because if you're talking about being hard or gangster or whatever and you don't really live that um, not that you can't not live it uh, and write about it you're telling a story if I'm an actor. I can tell a story, but I guess that the authenticity of um, not um, being what you say you are, the greatest of this or, you know, the king of that, uh, perhaps that's more so where it comes from. But I've always wondered, like, I mean, like, even in comedy, um, you have um, comedians that are great comedians, um, but they get to a certain level, man, you get writers. I mean, you got to pump this stuff out like a machine all the time. You got interviews, you got rehearsals, you got studio. I mean, there's a lot of times you don't really have the time to dedicate like you did when you were sitting on your couch. When you were sitting on your couch, like me. Sitting on your couch and um, not having all these other things <laughs> that you had to do. Um, that's not to say that you can't do it all. And that doesn't mean you're not a great songwriter. Um, it just means that you know you have the money and the time and the energy to get other people to do it. Um, there's a, some great singers that have a great voice um, that don't necessarily write their songs, and they don't have to. Um, and so, like I said, some people have better delivery. Like, um, may he rest in peace, but Paul Mooney used to write a lot of stuff. I mean, he wrote for Pryor and Red Fox and Chappelle. Um, I mean, some of the greats, uh, not, and these, that doesn't mean these people can't write or these people aren't funny. It's just like the delivery is there. These people can deliver the joke, and there's people that can deliver the song, and there's people that can deliver the rap. Um, and so, you know, that's why it's, in hip hop, I mean, you may have the same situation. For example, um, you ever try to tell the joke that you heard, and it just doesn't sound funny? Like, you're like, yo, you gotta hear this joke, and you're like, so and so said, whatever, and then, and then your person's not laughing. Because your delivery is not the same as Eddie Murphy, or not the same as Chappelle, um, you know, and, and, the, and the inflections in their voice and their facial expression, I mean, all that stuff goes together. And that sometimes is, is true when you're dealing with artists. You can walk in the street and see somebody that has a great look or, you know, fashion or a sense, um, you know, the way they wear their hair, the way they talk, their swag. And you can tell, like, you ever see somebody like, yo, that, that person's a star. Um, so, I mean, you know, if you can, if they can't write a song and you put that pen in, in, in your hand and you can pen it, um, I think that's wonderful. It's, it's, it, it's the entertainment business. Um, I mean, jealousy does get involved and hatred gets involved. So, you know, people want to pull left and right cards. Um, it is great if you can be Prince and, and um, write and produce and... and the average person is not doing that. Kanye and, you know, people are not just making the beats. But even Kanye, he uses beats from other people. He may use a Timberland track or, you know, someone else's track. Um, you have greats that just do it. Um, you watch The Tonight Show or you watch comedy, SNL. And these people all have writers, people behind the scenes just penning and penning and penning um, jokes. And, um, and they get looked over and they get, you know, put into uh, group rooms and listen to and see which ones are most funny. And the same thing happens with music. You can go to a songwriting session with a label. I've been to songwriting sessions with labels. Um, and, um, you know, they may have three or four songwriters in the room. Like, I'm a songwriter. I'm like, what y'all doing here? But it's like, you know, that's how they get stuff done and make sure that there's no bumps and hiccups and, like, you don't leave the studio session after six hours and not have anything accomplished. You have to um, keep that machine rolling. So, I guess, like I said, back to hip hop, that's when the ghostwriter thing came into play and things like that. And because, you know, it's a, it, it's a, this different level, um, but I always wondered that double standard when it came to hip hop. So, um, I don't know, there's, there's some great rappers, I'm sure they got great deliveries, but you know, uh, they don't, maybe, maybe they can't write the same or, or I don't know. It's like, I don't know, some people just can do it better. And that's kind of sort of my, my thought of the day. Um, 
trying to think of any. I don't even want to say any examples because you know, like I said, I might put somebody in a weird place, like you know, saying they can't write or they can write. But let's just use um, let's use Britney Spears for example. She's I know she's not, she's not a rapper, so she's out of the rap game. Boom. Um, amazing entertainer. Now people can argue, oh, she can't sing that well, or she can. T it's apples and oranges. I mean, it's your opinion. I mean, you're talking about a person that has millions and millions of fans, loved all over the world. You know, but she is a great entertainer. Like, who wouldn't? I mean, she can dance, she can perform, she has a look, and that's what the entertainment business is. She is a, is 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 a model of that. You know, people are writing this for her, they're dressing her with this, and everyone does not do, like I said, everything. And most of the time, you don't do everything, um, especially in um, in other industries like film. I mean, you look at the credits that scroll down at the end of that movie, and you can see there's a lot of jobs. A lot of jobs, uh, and it's the same with the music business. There's a lot of jobs. There's a lot of people putting um, their time and their efforts into making this one thing magical. Because it's very rare that that person has everything already. Um, you see it on American Idol. You see these people coming there in the beginning of the first seasons that they were on, and by the end of the season, they got the style in their hair. They got the little jacket on and with the little rhinestones on the sleeves and <laughs> shit. Anyway, so yes, you. Um, you understand there is a level to the levels. And um, with hip hop, I mean, like, I think that it, it, it's, it's changed. I know I said that over and over again, but that's the topic of the day. So, um, I don't know, like, for me, the average song listener, the av just the average person, not this ridiculous, um, overly hyped critic. I mean, the average person that's just in the club listening to a song does not care who wrote it. They do not care, is it hot? Does it does it does the bass line rip through the damn speakers? Is that what they want to hear? That's exactly what they want to hear. And um, you know, it's the same thing when um, when you got a guitarist. Like you think that the person listening to this rock song, the average person. I know this. We, don't jump on me. There's tons of people that have different views, and that's perfectly great. I, I love your views, by the way. Please don't leave me any weird comments. Um, but the average person that's listening to that song does not care what key the song is in or what, what chord you're playing. Now, if you want to learn how to play a song, yeah, there's levels, that's what I'm saying, there's levels to it. But, you know, so when it comes to music, people are not um, listening for all the other things. They just want to hear a good song. And after it's a good song and they hear another good song, maybe they start scratching their head and, and wondering more about it. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that's just my thought of the day. That is um, the words from the psyche. Eventually, um, maybe I'll get some friends to talk to with about this stuff, and or get a caller or two. But I don't have any friends. <laughs> just joking. But um, yes, um, if you like this type of stuff, um, you know these topics are just mainly what I'm talking about. But there's tons of more great content on Amped TV. That's A M P E D T V Network. You can find that on Roku and soon on Amazon. And um, we have tons of new and uh, innovative artists, unsigned and some signed um, to s smaller deals. Um, we are trying to build the platform and make a platform for the future stars of tomorrow and um, give you guys a home so that you know we don't have to just look at all the mainstream stuff to see your work. And um, that's what we're here for. That's what I'm here for. I'm here for just to inspire and, um, you know, tickle the ear a little bit. I'm Psyche of Sound. This was Words from the Psyche. And um, I don't know. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think about, you know, this. Because, uh, you know, do you care who writes the song? Does it matter to you? Um, it, it, and once again, this may just be a hip-hop thing. And that's cool, too. I love hip-hop. I grew up on it. Um, I'm a fan of it. I make, you know, beats for it. And, um don't really care who um, wrote the song. I just want to hear a dope song. Um, but if you are talking kind of gully and about what you would do to me and or that person, maybe you should probably write it. I guess that would be where I would probably draw the line. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and um, subscribe, stay tuned, whatever it is, whatever platform you're watching this on, I don't know, um, even though I'm going to be posting it. But I'm going to be posting it everywhere. So um, just... Uh, Think about what I said and, I don't know, stay tuned. It's like it sounds. Oh no!